I'm continuing my look at the 250 greatest Canadians, and we're on number 222, Harold Cardinal. Born on January 27, 1945, Harold Cardinal became an activist early in life when he became the president of the Canadian Indian Youth Council in 1966. In 1968, at the age of 23, he was elected the leader of the Indian Association of Alberta, remaining for a record nine terms. During that time, he was instrumental in the formation of the National Indian Brotherhood, now the Assembly of First Nations. Around this time, he rose to national prominence due to his opposition to the White Paper, which advocated for the elimination of separate legal status for the Indigenous in Canada. Many Indigenous felt that this was an assimilation program that would cost the Indigenous their culture. In 1969, Carl wrote his book, The Unjust Society, as a response to the White Paper, which became an instant bestseller. In 1984, Cardinal helped create the Prairie Tree Nations Alliance, which represented all Indigenous groups in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba to advance the concerns of the First Nations. When he was in his 40s, he pursued a law career, completing his law degree at Harvard and going on to get a doctorate in law from the U of BC in 2005. In 2004, two days before his 60th birthday, he was admitted to the Bar of Alberta. Through his life, he would advance the cause of mutual recognition, understanding, and respect between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. He believed his entire life in helping the Indigenous become, in his words, the red tile in the Canadian mosaic. On June 30th, 2005, just after earning his doctorate in law, he would pass away. So that was Harold Cardinal. Who's going to be number 221? Tune in next time, and if you want to learn all about Canadian history, check out my podcast, Canadian History X.